The economy's a mess and unemployment is spiking. Climate change is wreaking havoc with the weather. And our security has never been more threatened by global terrorist networks. How is one person going to make a difference? Hi there, I'm Jeff Wilson, and I'm going to show you how, coming up next on The Greenhouse Effect. So what do the problems of our economy, climate change, and national security have in common? The answer is energy, or more to the point, how we waste energy every single day. That's right. Turns out that the way we waste energy has a direct impact on many of the world's most pressing problems. Wasting energy makes our economy less productive, sends unbelievable amounts of CO2 into the atmosphere, and supports dictators in unstable energy-producing regions of the world. Now, the good news is that there's something each and every one of us can do to change this. It's cheaper than building new power plants, and it's much better than putting our troops in harm's way halfway around the world to keep the oil flowing here at home. The easiest and cheapest solution is to use off-the-shelf technology. That's technology that's available to us today to slash our energy use by 50 to 90 percent in our older homes and buildings. Yep, I know. Most people think of cars when they think of energy waste. Turns out that homes and buildings make up 39% of our total energy use, and a lot of that is wasted energy from our older homes. And while it used to make sense to just make more power by building more power plants, it turns out that energy efficiency is far, far cheaper. Check out this graph. It comes from a study done by Architecture 2030, which helps advise government on energy policy. Using Department of Energy statistics, it shows that efficiency is one-fifth the cost of a new nuclear plant and one-sixth the cost of carbon capture and sequestration coal. That's the so-called clean coal, which hasn't even been proven to work yet. Not to mention that tackling energy efficiency would put a lot more people to work than building power plants. The American Housing Survey from the Census Bureau shows that there are over 80 million homes which are over 30 years old and over 96 million homes which are over 20 years old. Now, this means that the market to retrofit older homes for energy efficiency absolutely dwarfs the new home building industry. Just think of what efficiency retrofits could do for the badly hit construction sector. Plus, as our cars shift from using dirty oil as a fuel to using more and more electricity, we'll need to make every kilowatt hour count. Efficiency in our homes makes sure that we have the capacity to use less and less oil in other areas. And energy efficiency will prepare us to take full advantage of the new smart grid and smart home technologies on the horizon, making our energy use even more efficient. You know, all this got me to thinking, we need more than just a little weatherization on our older homes. We need a way to bring them completely into the 21st century and beyond. We need a deeper shade of green living than we've seen up to this point, and we need it now. How do we go about it? Through a process called a deep energy retrofit. It's a whole house approach which attacks insulation and air sealing, windows and doors, heating and cooling, and all of the home systems, from water heating to lighting to appliances. No stone is left unturned in an effort to save energy and money. That's what the greenhouse effect is all about, applying the deep energy retrofit approach to our older homes, not only to save money, but to fix our economy, climate change, and national security problems all at once. Hey, tackling our energy use is patriotic work. It's our generation's victory garden and, and moonshot all rolled into one. It's our chance to show that we have what it takes to make things right. It's time to stop worrying, roll up our sleeves, and get to work we can use the greenhouse effect to protect our families from energy price spikes, put our local construction workers back on the job, reduce our carbon footprint, and keep oil revenues from funding terrorism. All of that while actually improving the comfort and safety of our homes. Sound good to you? Then follow my deep energy retrofit journey through this video series and on our blog at www.thegreenhouseeffect.com. And stay tuned. We've got a lot in store for you on the greenhouse effect.